The phrase hotly anticipated hardly covers it. But then, this is no ordinary new music release. And so, at five this morning, the usually still sleeping at that time members of Manchester University's Taylor Swift Society were awake, poised, and waiting to hit play. Did you get any sleep? <laughs> How was it as you first listened? Um, quite overwhelming, but like in a good way. You like really resonate with the lyrics, and it very much feels like your big sister, like plugging you and saying like everything will be up to you like you are not like, how do you explain to the uninitiated like me um what the deal is with taylor swift we get asked this a lot actually and we always say it's like you get a sense of community when you're when you're like a swifty this might sound wrong to say but she's just a singer but like if you really look into it she's much more than that like obviously recently if you look at her, the tour and like the economy and how much she's boosted the economy. Swift and all like, It's crazy, like, you know. The Eras tour is said to have generated billions in consumer spending in the States. And this summer, Taylor Swift comes to the UK. Not just a pop star then, but also a cultural and economic phenomenon. And with this new album, the list of plaudits is growing longer still. You left your typewriter at my apartment, straight from the tortured poets department. Louise Walwyn is a Manchester poet and also a very new Swift convert. Is she a poet? Yes, I would argue that Taylor Swift is a poet. She writes incredible hook lines, uh, the use of refrain. She's also clearly in love with poets. He was chaos. He was revelry. Now that, to me, gave me a real Byron-esque or Dylan Thomas in the 50s falling out of the Chelsea Hotel in complete and utter chaos. As theories about her lyrics and her exes dominate headlines, to the fans, Taylor Swift is the story in her own right. 